former Miss Universe contestant and pro-cannabis medical doctor, Sonia K. Forbes, has been found stabbed to death in Kingston, as the community of physicians attempting to work outside the confines of the pharmaceutical industry continues to be eradicated. Dr. Forbes, an influential holistic doctor who had dedicated her career to teaching patients about the medicinal value of marijuana, was 40 years old, fighting fit, and after the recent spate of suspicious holistic doctor deaths had made the point of telling friends and family she was not suicidal, Dr. Forbes, a senior resident at Kingston Public Hospital, had dedicated her life to promoting natural cures and encouraged her patients and followers to avoid Big Pharma's poisonous products. The outspoken and popular doctor was also part of a groundbreaking study into the cellular mechanism of the eye that proved marijuana could be used to improve vision for patients suffering from long-term visual impairment. Dr. Forbes' studies found that after applying a cannabinoid to the eye tissues of tadpoles, the cannabinoids make certain retinal cells more sensitive to light and improve the speed in which the eye responds to even low-level stimulus. However her groundbreaking work into the medicinal value of marijuana was met with hostility by pharmaceutical companies, who told her that cannabis is a dangerous recreational drug that must be banned. In recent years Dr. Forbes had been actively campaigning for government funding into other areas of medicinal marijuana research, as well as working directly with hospitals and medical practices, encouraging them to move away from their dependence on big pharma products in favor of established natural cures. Dr. Forbes' body was found at her personal residence on Arthur Wint Drive in Kingston with stab wounds to the abdomen. St. Andrews Central Police say they have no leads and have yet to rule out suicide, despite the doctor's family vouching for her state of mind, declaring her happy and ambitious and in no way suicidal. At this time, the matter is still being treated as a death investigation, not as a murder or a homicide, a police source told Loop News. A number of people from the doctor's community in Kingston took to social media to express shock and grief over her sudden death, with the majority of comments speculating that the young doctor was murdered. This is so gut-wrenching, who could have done such a cowardly act to someone so promising? One man wrote in response to this story on Facebook, a close friend of Dr. Forbes also suggested that she had been murdered to silence her groundbreaking research, pointing out that regular criminals never harm medical professionals. As part of Jungle Law, she stated, Now I am sure we are steadily descending into hell. One jungle law I know of is the fact that bad men do not hurt doctors and nurses, simply because they realize that may need them one day. The investigation into Dr. Forbes' death continues, with detectives waiting for the coroner's report to determine how the case will move forward.